Okay, I wanted to do a little video on my cart. Made it out of PVC pipe, fence posts, wooden rails, and aluminum stock. This is aluminum stock. This is actually a bed rail down here. This is tie rod in I got off of eBay. Got this from the hardware store. My little contraption there, I'm going to change that and make it steer better. I bent these on my bender as well as the crank. As you can see down there, this pulley come off of a bicycle as well as the wheels, the handlebars. I'm not going to use the hand brakes, I'm going to take those off because I fixed the wheel so that I could use the coaster brakes. I cut the neck off the forks and stuck it in here and bolted it so I could stick the handlebars on. As you can see I used these bearings. I mounted them to an aluminum plate. And passed a 5 8 rod that I used for the crank through it. Here's the other one. Here's the other side of the steering. This is the back wheel on the other side. As you can see, I bit that rod there. That's uh, aluminum stock as well. That's a little thicker. That's, like, that's a quarter inch, and I, all I needed was 3 16 That's a piece of bed rail there. This was going to be for hand brakes, but I decided not to use them. I was going to mount them here and in the back, back here. back up a little bit. I was going to have a bench seat back here and then here I was going to run some boards across here and use some boat seats to uh, sit on when you're pedaling. I have tried it and I'm having a problem with the alignment of the crank. I may have to make another one because this end of the crank right here isn't really even with that end of the crank over there. It's off by about a half an inch, so it makes the makes the sprocket wobble. So when you're pedaling, as you can see, it wants to come off. It wobbles, so the chain wants to come off, but you can see the wheels turning chain is a bit loose. I was thinking about taking the axle out of this and mounting it somehow in here to tighten the chain. I have taken links out and made it tighter but I just made the chain jump off more. I might just mount the axle back here somewhere because when I tighten it it rubs against the frame there. See this is bed frame, aluminum stock. This is what I use to bend everything with. It's a uh, it's a um, bender from Harbor Freight. It comes with all these dies. I have it set up right now so I can bend 45s. Before I had it set up where I could bend the front spindle supports using the biggest round down there. Later I want to use this. I'm going to get the spiral bender so that I can bend flat stock. And we're going to make um, some front porch supports out of uh, flat stock and um, square tubing. Right now I have wood for supports and the bottom keeps rotting out. So I figure I'll make some metal ones and that'll... Uh, fix the problem of the bottoms riding out. This is another project I've been working on. This tractor I got for free from someone on Facebook. Um, it had 
all flat tires I took this tire off my other mower and put on here to uh, drive it around when I got it it wouldn't crank the deck was froze up I had to take it off and clean it up and grease it the wiring wouldn't let it crank so I rewired it and I've got it where it'll turn over now and it'll crank but when you turn it off it floods so I've got to rebuild the carburetor and uh, I'm gonna remove all this old green paint that's on here somebody repainted it make it look like a John Deere when it's actually a Craftsman LT1000 as you can see from the decals on the front it's LT1000 Craftsman with a Briggs and Stratton opposed twin 19 and a half horsepower in this. I have replaced the ignition switch and down in there is the solenoid switch I replaced it. This battery I got from the guy down the street for free he was thinking it was bad but I charged it up works fine. On the other side over here I have the wheel off because I was adjusting the brakes right there that's the brakes while I was adjusting the brakes the drive belt was slipping and I burn it in two so now I'm waiting on a new drive belt to come also you can see where I rewired it that's the charging harness and the light harness I'm gonna when I redo it I'm gonna put lights in the front probably put them on a separate switch as well as um, you see right here it has a one of these little like car cigarette lighter outlets for a radio I might install a radio I don't know who needs a radio cutting grass right but the engine starts up runs good it drives good cuts grass like crazy I'm gonna sandblast and paint the deck to prevent it from rusting out and uh, grease it up real good this is my old mower here there's nothing wrong with it I just took the wheel off of it I'll show you that in a minute and there's the grass catcher off the green one I put it on there it works great but yeah this one cranks right up and runs good got all kinds of lawnmower projects going right now let me show you that tire this is another project that got going I was walking past it so I thought I would show you uh, this is the color I'm going to paint my car I had a problem with the first coat of paint wanting to fish out real bad and I had to sand this down and as you can see I got a lot of orange peel so I'm probably going to have to color sand and buff this to make it look good enough to put on my car uh, I'm trying to borrow a air compressor with more pressure so that I can get a better finish this is just the front fender, driver's side fender. I have the other fender. This is the one you can see the fish eye real bad in. See that fish eye? That's my cat. He's been fighting. And that's the hood. And I have the bumper. It did the same thing. It fish eyed real bad like that. It's in the greenhouse where I've been uh, painting it, trying to keep it clean. This is another project that I'm working on. It's my front wheel off the green mower, but I'm going to put it on the red mower. I drilled a hole here, and I drilled a hole here. And I did that because it has a really bad dry wall, a dry wall, a really bad dry rot crack right here where it's set flat. So what I did was I drilled these holes. I filled it with foam. Yes. This foam. Right here. I've seen this on YouTube. I figured it's $30 for a new tire. It's $3 for a can of that. Why not try it? Those are the projects I've been working on lately. And I'll give you an update later.